What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So I read some comments that Robert Timms should switch to open bodybuilding to excel his career. Well, I don't think that's even remotely possible. Yes, his upper body can grow at a tremendous pace. And he is one of those guys with the most freakish upper body in classic physique. But he will need even bigger legs in the open than he does in classic physique. I think if he can match his lower half to his upper half even just a tiny bit, he can be a top 6 Olympian. He has crazy hams and glute tie-in. And I am just amazed at how shredded he is looking and they haven't even decided which show they are gonna do next. Keep in mind, Robert took one year off after getting 10th place at the Olympia 2021, stating that the next time people see him on stage, his legs will be much improved. Well, the strategy Robert and his coach AJ followed was downsizing his upper half by lowering the carbs on those specific days. Now, will that work? We will have to wait and see. I know I did a video on Andrew Jack already today, but have a look at these pictures released by the Dragon Layers just now. I believe these were taken when Andrew was prepping for his first pro show, the Texas Pro. And now I understand what Milos meant when he said in an interview that he has seen Andrew pose in the gym and the look beats all of his stage looks till this past Olympia. Being excited for Andrew Jagged for this year's Arnold is definitely an understatement. More side shorts released by Samson Dauda. Guys, we need a Samson and Andrew two-man callout at this year's Arnold Classic. Well, put Big Romy in there as well, because that will be epic. Samson for sure is a special talent. Not many guys can claim that they have cracked top six on their Olympia debut. No matter how weak a particular year may be, it's still Mr. Olympia, the best of the best are there, and Samson proved that he has all the goods to fight for Mr. Olympia title. It was extremely fortunate for Samson that he was given a chance to stand next to Big Romy in the initial callout. That just changed everything for Samson, from being not so confident going into this past Olympia when the wolves kept telling him that he can do a lot better than top 10 to this current Samson who 100% believes he can win this Arnold Classic in 25 days. Does that guy look like a 330 pounds freak? William Martins is pushing all the boundaries with his coach Chad Nichols to create something special for this season. You can't expect a guy with genetically wider waist to look good in the offseason, especially in the front double, which is one of his weakest shots. But he can continue to get bigger in the shoulders, create more width and somewhat of an illusion of having a small waist. Jake Hunter did not have a small waist especially in the later stages of his career. But he was just so damn wide that his presence would crush everyone on stage, especially that 2009 version. Now, I'm not comparing Williams to Jake Adler before anyone says how dare you. It isn't a comparison. I'm just saying it is a path that Williams should definitely follow. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.